Welcome to this tutorial guide or, or revision guide for the R093 Creative Eye Media exam element. The, uh, the first topic we're going to cover is topic one of the media industry and the media industry sectors and product um, section of the course. So the media industry is broken down into two real categories, the first being traditional media, which is basically anything that happened before the internet or doesn't really use technology. So we've got film, it occurred way before the internet or use computers. Similarly, TV, radio and print. Um, each of those are subcategorized. So there are um, different things, different, different products within each sector. So the film sector, there are products including feature film, which is anything over 90 minutes, documentaries, which generally are about something in real life, short films, which are, are anywhere between five and half an hour in terms of minute length. Um, then in TV, we've got comedy, dramas, typical genre type things. Um, and soap operas, which is what we call a continuing drama. So in other words, there's an episode every every other day or every day or three or four times a week hence it's continuing and it's sort of without end whereas most tv shows have a, an end of series so one to eight episodes soap operas tend not to radio are categorized similarly so there's talk shows news um specialist shows on sport and stations on say things like uh, 80s music whatever uh, and similarly there's soap operas in radio then the the print sector has products including magazines newspapers posters billboards anything that comes out of a printer and is physical fits within the print sector all right new media or what we call contemporary so current day media um, is anything that uses the internet or technology uh, is basically more recent it's the easiest way to do it so computer games now that computer games existed a number of years ago but we're talking more sort of new gen consoles anything where you have to download materials so obviously most games now are downloaded from an online store rather than purchased on a disc so hence why they're more in contemporary we then have augmented and virtual reality uh, augmented is where you can see things in real life but then something additional is existing um, so uh, the game Pokemon Go where your camera shows what's happening in real life but there'll be a random Pokemon somewhere in it that's augmented whereas virtual reality you're in a completely made up scene um, an app is, is part of a, uh, the contemporary media as well so anything app on your phone including things like Instagram whatever else you've got then interactive media which is anything you can click on or what we call a multimedia presentation so a presentation that includes audio visual um, so video animation anything like that that's what we call a multimedia presentation um, and uh, anything you can click on is what we call a clickable animation so it will have a button maybe that does something the old Joe cartoon things for those of you that know are a good example of a clickable animation and other things that are focused on the web which obviously includes websites and other apps because they use the the, the web to be distributed uh, social media is probably the biggest one the biggest type of product on the internet sector so you're looking at instagram facebook twitter snapchat those sorts of things and finally digital publishing which includes ebooks so electronic books things like amazon kindles and things like that where you download a book and then digitalized magazines or online newspapers or anything like that where essentially you're getting what would previously been done in print so like newspapers magazines but you get them online so you can download an app now that includes all the the news major newspapers so say the sun has an app the Guardian has an app, whatever else, so that they would still form in digital publishing um, because it's linked to that publishing sector. Um, although it looks like each sector is individual, some products can go across multiple sectors, an example being, say, um, the the ebooks is, is technically part of the web and um, the public digital publishing sector because ebooks are both on the web you need to download from the internet to use them or a specialist app so therefore they're a web-based platform but then also they're focused on publishing so ebooks might go across too there's a few other products the same digital gaming um, was previously um, traditional media when we had discs form and whatever else and old-fashioned games consoles they all relied on physical media so a disc a cartridge whatever whereas now obviously it's all digital downloads so it sort of goes across both sectors um, social media you could argue is web and and publishing to a degree so this it also incorporates video and video editing or image 
um, so like Instagram is pretty much solely imagery so there's a range of things that you could say fall into two categories so if you are ever in doubt there's a there's a few you can say are in two different categories of media the next section is all about job roles within the media each job role is broken down into three main categories we have creative jobs obviously that's more design based or requires a sort of an imaginative or a creative spark then technical jobs which are uh, requiring understanding of either a physical piece of equipment or a piece of software or how to say write code or something like that it's more of a technical rather than a creative you're kind of making so creative is more planning developing ideas whereas technical tends to be making media and then finally senior roles which usually include management or people who oversee the whole of a project um, the the next section about job roles tries to classify each job role into a part of the media sector so this bit's quite important to understand first the whole of media is broken down into three but really four um, main elements of a cycle so the media cycle is what we call it and it starts every time pretty much with pre-production so pre-production is essentially planning so you plan develop ideas you make um, sketches storyboards visualizations whatever of a product and that is all in the pre-production side you then go into production production is when you actually film the thing make the thing whatever else it is production is the filming the making the recording side and then post-production is after you've done the filming how you improve the product so it might be editing images it might be um, cutting the video or adding special effects or altering the soundtracks whatever else it is but that's all done in post-production then the final section is marketing and distribution where essentially you've finished the media products now you're going to try and distribute which means get it to your audience and then market it which means essentially get the biggest audience you possibly can to try and get involved with your media product so that's the media cycle the four main stages being pre-production then production then post-production then marketing and distribution where we do planning in pre-production we make the thing in production we edit it in post-production and then finally we tell people about it and get it to the audience in marketing and distribution so certain jobs then fit into different parts of the media cycle so tell you, an animator an animator is usually focused on actually making the animation therefore it's part of the production process um, some go across two different parts of the cycle so that should say copywriter a copywriter is somebody who who writes information that goes on things like posters so they write the text that appear on things um, they're usually involved at both stages so they'll be involved in some pre-production where they write early copy for say magazines newspapers whatever but then also in the actual making stage similarly an illustrator you might have an illustrator who's involved in the planning so they'll draw sketches of say storyboards things like that although you do tend to have a specialist storyboard artist but an illustrator might draw a visualization diagram for a plan for a product but then they'll also likely be involved in the actual production stage where they say drawing the graphic novel or um, creating the the digital graphics whatever else it is but but they might be involved in multiple stages so you'll see a number of jobs that are in involved across a, a number of stages but in the creative industry they tend to be more pre-production because they're more about ideas and, and creativity the technical job roles tend to be more involved in production and post-production because they're not really about idea generation they're about making things um, so like a camera operator is a technical role because you have to understand how the camera works how the focus works positioning things like that um, so it's always in production similarly a programmer the people who are writing websites like a web developer or whatever else they, they tend to be involved in just the production stage because they'll be writing the code to make things work um, a sound editor is, is a technical role because you have to know software to make um, the editing work as, as you intend it to and the sound sound as you intend it to so a sound editor tends to be involved in post-production you might have sound engineers who work on the set themselves and they'll be um, still a technical role because you have to understand how microphones work and stuff like that um, but they, they'll be involved in production as well but you can see there's a range of job roles again some can go across multiple um, stages but tends to be that technical roles are more in production and then maybe even post
the uh, the senior job roles so these tend to oversee a lot of the projects so you'll see that these are usually in a range of different stages um, like a campaign manager is going to oversee the whole project a director is going to see the whole project so they'll literally be involved in pre production and post so they'll be involved at every stage like a producer a production manager all those things they'll, they'll tend to be involved at multiple stages the only one really that's just involved at one stage that's called a senior role is the editor the editor only really works in post-production so once the production has occurred the editor will come in shoot the film uh, edit the film sorry that's been shot uh, and work with it so they'll tend to only be involved in post-production but you can see the different sort of roles and the stages in the production cycle that they're likely to be involved